Tell me a little bit about your guys' um, flour, because that's what I've had the most, the Corova flour. I was smoking, I believe it was garlic cookies last. Nice. Um, so that's all, you're all vertically integrated in-house We are. We haven't always been. So basically, uh, when Corova flour started, we had a uh, some partners who grew just for us. And, you know, we uh, eventually, they, this was at the very early part of when, you know, legalization happened. It was one of the first packaged flour brands on the market. And then I think when some of those uh, growers for us began to start their own brands, it, it, we kind of had a, like, a storied history of, all right, we have, you know, the, these partners, we've moved in and out of them. And then we recently vertically integrated again about mid last year, got our own grows, uh, you know, up and running. So now we have two grows in Oakland, California, which is where kind of Crobo initially started. It was in the Vallejo, Oakland area. Um, and we just really focus on, you know, high potency strains. High potency is kind of Crobo's you know, core you know, value proposition is, hey, kind of no matter what form factor we have, we're we'll pushing the limits on, on potency. Uh, but also we, you know, try to really keep a mix of interesting strains in inside of our, our jars. So we have, we have two lines. We have the just standard Crova jars and we have what's called the unrivaled line, which is either, you know, really high percent THC or really kind of high terp content. So we kind of focus on the higher end there. That's what you see in the box. Um, one, one thing we did really that, uh, recently that was really interesting um, on the flower end is we did a collaboration with a, a local grower in NorCal where it was all land race strains. So kind of original sativa strains like chocolate Thai, lamb's bread, Durban poison, some of these kind of originals because classic strains are, are kind of hot in the market right now. And we found this really unique uh, grow. And, and so we were able to kind of take this concept and bring it out to market, a little bit of a different look on the jar. And, and consumers really loved it. So it's not just, hey, we're putting the strains we grow into the jars. We're, we're trying to do interesting things that, you know, play into what's happening in the times or a new experience for the consumer or something exciting when you walk into the dispensary. It's like, all right, uh, you yeah, know, everyone's always asking, you know, what's new on the shelf or what should I try? We want to give butt tenders a reason to recommend Corova. Hell yeah. And that, and that makes me so happy that you guys are doing that because those old strains are, are hard to come by. And having, you know, a company as prominent as yourself, you know, producing those is big because, you know, I mean, I know potency is really important and that's a big focus of your guys' stuff, but I like how you said the terpene aspect as well. And I do, I have had, what, what is it, the thousand milligram brownie you guys used yeah. to do? You guys yeah. still do those, right? But it's just Delta 8. Exactly. And that's that package right over there on okay. the right. It's the Delta 8. So we, we call it the Biggie Cookie now versus it used to be the, the Black Bar. So it's a thousand milligrams THC. This is a... Uh, you know, it's kind of a workaround for now. And Delta 8 is obviously a very different compound, but, uh, you know, we still do that. But in Arizona and Oklahoma, we still have the, the black bars and now an ultra black bar, which is 2000 milligrams. And those are really, you know, that's a certain type of customer. A lot of it's for medical patients who really just need the maximum amount of pain relief. Uh, you know, it was, it, we kind of cross over that that halfway between the lifestyle customer is really interested in Crova, what we stand for and the interesting things we're doing. And then there's a high potency consumer that is really looking for it for pain relief in, in their day to day. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of in the mix there myself um, when buying it because, yeah, I, I do love the high potency and I see that value there because I'll buy RSO every now and then and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. And the tincture, too. Um, I actually haven't had your guys' tincture, so yeah, like I'm excited a, to try it, that. It's a nano tincture. I'm really fascinated with uh, the nanotechnology. And for, I guess, those who don't know or are listening, you know, it's a uh, it's rapid onset. So, you know, 15 minutes, you're kind of really feeling the high. And so, you, you know, we had uh, done this uh I guess that technology hasn't been explained super well to people who understand, oh, I have to wait 60 minutes. I don't know how high I am. I really like that controllable experience. And some of those that come on uh, these rapid onset nano emulsified products, they'll come on too fast. They'll go too slow. We, we kind of worked hard to formulate, you know, uh, like the right thing for that black bottle. And now we've actually brought it to, uh, we did a thousand milligram hot sauce. It was like our seasonal product for the winter. Good work on that. Yeah. So yeah. I've seen that all, I've seen that all on social. I'm like, I was talking in a podcast the other day. I'm like, you guys, the, the, the whole launch of that was amazing. So. Well, it was just kind of natural in that like, we were looking at it. What's a product. We always ask, what's a product we would use ourselves. You know, we have a, like one of the Crova taglines is if, you know, if we don't smoke it, you don't smoke it. And, you know, uh, and it goes the same for edibles and things too. It's like, what would excite the team? I know for that one, like I use that product all the time. It's great. It's like easily don't it's the right amount of things. It tastes great. There's like a top of TO ish version, you know. Uh, and so it's funny to see how natural that that kind of you know went. People gravitated towards it. They used it. So you go, hey, this is actually an experience. By the end of my meal, you know, I'm high. I'm ready for the next thing. You know, it was uh, it's interesting. And I think what it set it off for me too is because I've seen you know I've seen other people you know do hot sauces, but not like you guys did. Yeah. So it just all I, I need to try it, but I'm just like super pumped when i saw that like i said just just the look of it everything about it is super clean yeah i was i was gonna say i wanted to bring one today we uh we sold out of the run that we had just done so they're all they're in stores nice. still but our, our wholesales uh, we, we were surprised that was one where i was like 
especially at the first the first week or two everyone was like hot sauce and then now you know it's like six weeks later it's like all right it was into yeah. it so i think we're gonna maybe we're trying to spin out a new flavor for, for, for 420 we'll see if it happens oh, no, we'll, yeah, we'll, uh, I'll, I'll definitely keep an eye out that up. <laughs> because yeah it's just it's just like a staple to have in your pantry yeah just have your little infused hot sauce whatever and else it, you got last yeah. for a long time it's, yeah. it's interesting and like and that's rapid onset too so it's like uh it's interesting to be able to say, all right, you know, especially with food, you're always like, well, what's my dosing like? I really love just knowing where you're at, especially something like a hot sauce where it's like, I'm 15 minutes in. Okay, I'm feeling good. Oh, I will need a little more. Okay, it's too much. Like that's a big part of controlling the cannabis experience. And, and that's why I do love the nanotech too, because I'd be talking to people and like you're saying, people get worried about edibles. Like, nope, never doing them again. Or I'm <laughs> so scared. I'm like, it's only, I'm like the beauty of the drinks or tinctures is you can literally take it little sip by sip or drop by drop, like you're saying to feel the right effects and i think that's the beauty of it too whereas you know people who smoke sometimes if they have even a couple puffs like my girl will just kind of get a little yeah a little too a little, little loopy out there i think that's where the future goes is that half the experiences will be more experimental like hey i just want to have a good time whatever happens happens i'm gonna smoke some flour and half of it's just gonna be super controllable like you you know from a wellness perspective or a pharmaceutical perspective it's like this is the right dose this is the right dose for me based on my tolerance or body composition or whatever the science leads it i think that's kind of what we see in, in 20 30 years that's a big part of the excitement is just seeing this industry is so much more encompassing than uh, you know just uh if you look at like the alcohol industry is, is essentially for, for pleasure, right? But the cannabis industry is for pleasure, for just overall holistic wellness and for pharmaceutical medical conditions. And that's just like what other thing is so broad reaching and can impact you know, so many different people. It's really exciting. Yeah, that's so true. And and I will just do a little shameless uh, plug here with this uh, koan, man, where uh, precision calibrated cannabis. But when we're talking about the precision um, of having and knowing what you're getting, is really important and that nano tech and um i felt bad because i took one if you want if you want one feel free to grab <laughs> yeah. one or i got another type for you yeah too. maybe after the uh maybe right. after the after the pop you said right. those are six milligrams yeah these maybe. are six milligrams we have calm that's like one milligram thc 15 milligram cbd um and just really playing in with the terpene profile so we'll do test groups and send them like five different bottles um with different terpene counts hmm. and get feedback from let's say the group of 30 see what they think change the formulate it that way because i never realized how important terpenes are until the past couple of years um for the longest time just growing up in legal states jersey and kansas i would just be like bro like people would just be ma saying names yeah, it's just weed i'm like yeah, yeah, yeah exactly just, just <laughs> yeah. give me some weed man and now that i've been getting into the getting into it more and even for a while too i didn't know a lot of people don't know what they're getting when i'm yeah. in doing pad's and dispensaries and stuff i'm like do you know what's in your um edible you're eating they're like no, no. And I just I'll, taste good. Or... This is so early. It's such an early level of adoption, and it's so much information. Like, what else are you buying? We have to learn about all these different levels. But I do encourage anyone, you know, listening or anyone who's going through that experience to really, you know, either engage with the terpenes that you're getting. Like, if you have, if you get a flower, like Google it, you know, write down what the terpenes were in it and how it like impacted you. And it's something we're actually looking at for some of our stores was maybe we'll have like a little journal that we can give to the customers that, you know, always come back and are really engaged with their bud tenders and talking about their experience. Cause if you start to figure what terpenes give you what effects, that's why I love kind of what you're doing with, with the brand saying, Hey, we're trying out these different combos. Cause it is kind of different for individuals. The more you can learn about that, find that combo for you. This is what makes me calm. This is what reduces my anxiety is it's, it is that terpene profile. And if once you recognize that it's like unlocking a superpower. Yeah. Totally, I love that. Yeah. And we have, we're just at the like infancy of it in so many ways. I know there's countries that are a little ahead of us in terpene research, but we're we're really gonna get it, man. And um, it's, it's a beautiful future yeah, ahead. It really know? is, man. It really <laughs> is.